Two Edmonton families on opposite ends of the city are suddenly looking for shelter and answers. My fence and staircase got hit by a car. A SUV had flown into the house, crashed into the living room and into the kitchen basically and just totally just demolish everything. Police say this home in the northwest near 122nd Ave and 92nd Street reported a hit and run just after midnight Wednesday. Yeah, this is not a good area. Two hours later, a call from this southeast Edmonton home at 42nd Ave and 70th Street. Richard Kusimenko's parents live here with a tenant in the basement. He says he woke up to his phone flooded with calls, pictures and videos of the wreck. His mother is said to have been brushing her teeth when chaos erupted only a few feet away. Heard a loud crash, it sounded like thunder, it sounded like a, she felt a bit of a ground shake and whatnot. And then she came out of the, out of the bathroom and she looked and she saw an SUV in the living room. Kusimenka says that's when the suspects stepped out of the vehicle and fled the scene on foot, leaving the abandoned SUV inside the home. But for Tamara Lapret, she says she never even had the chance to catch a glimpse of the perpetrator's license plate. I sort of got a bad luck everywhere I go. Back on the south side, it's been a day of many lengthy phone calls with police, family, and their insurance company. The crash is said to have rocked the foundation of their home of 24 years. By the evening, crews began putting up temporary siding that will help protect the belongings inside. Time for repairs is estimated to take anywhere from six months to over a year. All occupants of the home will live together in temporary housing, but where exactly they'll stay is still unclear at this time. So far, no suspects from either of the collisions has been taken into custody. Police say they continue to investigate these incidents. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.